Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about bass and how the bass actually sees their world under the water. This actually comes from a book called Knowing Bass, The Scientific Approach to Catching More Bass. And it's by Dr. Keith Jones. I'll leave a link to the book in the description below. But he is the head researcher for Berkeley. Berkeley has their own research facility and that's where he's the head of that. So he does stuff, but he came up with this book and it's actually all about how bass see their world. And that's why this is titled the way it is because it is primarily almost 100% vision oriented. Now we as humans, we have one lobe in our brain that processes vision. The bass actually have an eye brain. They actually have two lobes in their brain, not four, like that would be, two lobes in their brain that focus on the eye and get all the information from the eye. And their retina helps out with that way more than us humans. They have like a super retina compared to us humans. So what we see with our lures under the water is not anywhere like what the bass sees. And this will kind of blow your mind once I get into this, how bass actually see. Okay, so the lion's share of their brain is focused on capturing information from their eyes. And bass actually have pretty much surround vision. The way their eyes are set up, they can see almost 360 degrees around their body. They actually have a slight blind spot behind the left and right side of their tail and a slight blind spot directly above and below their body. But their blind spots are really, really teeny and really small. There's not much that gets away from the eye of a bass as far as them being able to perceive it and see it. And as far as how clear they see things, they actually see very, very clear. A lot of people think that they kind of, you know, it's kind of blurry to them. They don't have really focused, focused, focused vision, but they actually do. Now, the range of their vision is actually not great. I mean, it's 50 feet, but still, 50 feet, I mean, come on. When do us as fishermen cast 50 feet away from where we think there might be a bass? We don't go, hey, there's a log. No, we cast like, we try to put that bait always within, right where they are, within two feet, five feet, whatever. So 50 feet in clear water, and it reduces as the water clarity might reduce or it might be, you know, darker, like nighttime and that. But even when we can see two inches into the water, muddy water, or that dirty water, I've told you this before, the bass can see up to four feet. And us fishermen, we're casting exactly where we think fish are, like trying to get it within right on top of them. So 50 feet, that's pretty good vision. I mean, not like us humans, we can see, you know, a plane 30,000 feet up in the sky. But 50 feet's a pretty big range for them to be able to see. And that's, like I said, their mind is focused on their eyes. And on top of that, because of the way their eyes are set up, they actually have binocular vision straight ahead of them. And I did that show once, attack angle of a bass, straight ahead. And that's because they have that binocular vision. And it's just like us, like if you close one eye, you it's really hard to tell, you know, where something is in space, how, how far away it is. But when you have both eyes open, you can tell exactly how far away that is and how far you have to reach to grab it. That's the same thing with the bass. They have that binocular vision when they're looking straight ahead. They can tell how far away or how close something is and how to attack it. And again, that's why straight ahead is their best attacking. It's really funny because last time I was out fishing, I happened to capture something that shows how, it shows how bass with, well, all right, well, let me show you the footage. Oh. You have it? He has oh, it. That's a different one. Oh, that's a different one. He grabbed it. But he grabbed it from the side. He's blind in one eye. Now, see, you can see right there when you see the bass when it comes up, it, and even Rick says that, he hit it from the side. Well, he hit it from the side because that bass only had one eye. He didn't have that binocular vision to be able to tell where it was. But he had to come up, and he came up to the right of it because he only had the left eye. He took it, he kind of took it from the side from the left side. So yeah, I mean, they can still feed really well with one eye. I mean, that one did. But that was that was a minnow on a hook that didn't really have the full capability to escape and everything. And he still kind of had to come up and, and look to the side 
to see it. So they can still live, but it's that binocular vision that really, really nails them on being able to feed as good as they do. And the other thing with their vision, and I've said this before, they're a low light predator. Low light. That's why you can catch them at night. That's why you can actually catch them in dirty or dark water. That's how a lot of times when it's dark out or cloudy and that, you catch more fish because they're really low light oriented. They have both rods and cones. Cones pick up vision in daylight. Rods pick up vision in uh, nighttime, low light. But most of their predators, like the plankton feeders, the minnows, and all those other creatures, only have cones, or they have a majority cones over rods. So their night vision is very, very poor, and that's why bass rule in low light conditions and at night. And they also have the best tweener vision. Tweener vision is a time that when the sun is just coming up or the sun is just going down, where the light is either just starting to form or light is fading away. Their eyes and the way they're set up adjust a lot quicker to that difference of low light to no light or very little light to more light. So that's why they're so good at feeding when the first sun first comes up and the sun first goes down. And from that other video I did, we also learned in the morning and in late, they feed whether they have a full stomach or not. So they're an incredible predator. They have the advantage, first light, last light, and they eat whether their stomach's full or not. So that's why it's some of the best time to fish your bass is right when it comes up and right when it goes down. Easy bass, that's what I said in that video. And another really incredible thing about it and their vision is at night, under a full moon, bass success rate for an attack is almost 95 to 100%. Now you might think 95 to 100%, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good, but most predators actually most like animal predators their success rate even at night if they're a night feeder or during the day is nowhere near 95 to 100 percent and the bass even under starlight without a full moon their success rate is about 50 percent you're like well that's really bad but what i was just getting to tigers their success rate for hunt to capture is 10 percent birds of prey like hawks and uh, eagles and all that falcons 20 percent the majority of animals that live on the planet that are predators and hunt success rate is 50 percent or below there's very few that go but actually dragonflies are 95 to 100 percent if they chase them they get it 95 to 100 percent of the time and that's the best in the world as far as an animal except for the bass under moonlight because they also do 95 to 100 percent Oh, I, for, I forgot something, I forgot something. We were talking about clarity, clarity of the bass. Before I go into the last subject, I gotta, let me back up a bit and go to how, how I said they see things pretty clear. It's not all blurry to them up to 50 feet. Within 10 inches, five inches in front of their nose, they can actually read the print on a lure. Like say you have a lure, like something that's just sitting there and it has like gulp on it or something like that. Their vision is so clear at that range that they could actually read gulp. I mean, if they knew how to read, bass don't know how to read, but it is that clear. Because people think, oh, they see, they don't see it that clear, they can't see. Yes, when they're within less than 10 inches, straight in front of their nose, it's like us putting on uh, bifocals to read. They can see incredibly, incredibly clear. Sorry, I kind of missed that when I was talking about that, but there's a lot of information here. I, I've been working on getting this all right. But other than that, okay, lastly, and this is, this is something that's, th this will really kind of blow your mind. Bass have a flicker rate 30 to 50 times higher than us humans. Now you might wonder what flicker rate is. Well, flicker rate is when something's spinning, like the blades of a thing, the spinning. How we see this when this is spinning. Or, or crankbait, how we see it when it's wobbling. We see it kind of sort of mixed together. We just sort of see the blade, we, we, it's kind of blurry, we kind of see each side. They have 30 to 50 percent higher flicker rate than us which means when they see this spinnerbait coming through the water as it's turning they actually see it as if we see it in slow motion still moving fast but they see it every side they see both sides of the blade and they see it clear and each wobble of a crankbait they see each side and each wobble of it like we watch it in slow motion. and that's i mean that's kind of a weird thing I mean a lot of people when they're using a big crankbait or something they want to like slow it down they want to slow that wobble you know so the bass has 
a really good view and can see that thing, every movement of it, see it really clear. But even when you're moving as fast as you can, their eye sees it. They can see with that flicker rate every movement and every side and every part of the wiggle. And they can actually see both sides of a blade. They just don't get this blurry, kind of shiny, flashy image. They actually see it all around, like slow-mo. Oh, and another note, yes, the lateral line can help them when it's really dark or they're very limited in eyesight or blind. Smell, that's like 2%. It doesn't really have anything to do with how they capture their prey. But the lateral line, what it helps with is possibly when it's dark in that or something's outside their vision, then being able to feel it and be able to either move a little more towards it or orient themselves in a way that they can use their vision to get the focus and attack it. So that's, that's my little biology bites about bass and their eyesight. I hope I was clear enough with this for you guys, and um, I hope this helps. Until next time.